What kind of energy does a soul have? Is it measurable? If not, why not? Descartes, interestingly, was fully aware of that particular problem and despaired of ever solving it. Once you give slow thought to what sort of thing a non-physical soul might actually be, awkward facts begin to pummel the idea's plausibility. For example, think about what happens when my dentist freezes a nerve in my wisdom tooth and my soul ceases to feel pain in that tooth. The neuroscientist has a well-established explanation regarding why I cease to feel pain. Substances such as Novocaine, injected close to neurons emerging from the tooth, shut down the neuron's capacity to respond. The result is that no pain signals from the neuron are sent to the brain. Moreover, we know exactly how Novocaine does that. For a neuron to be active, sodium ions first pumped out of the cell, and then when the neuron gets a stimulus, the sodium channel opens and the ions flood back into the neuron. Novocaine temporarily blocks sodium channels and hence prevents the neuron from signaling. With time, the Novocaine denatures and hence the effect disappears. The neuron's capacity to respond returns and the painful feeling returns. The explanation of how Novocaine blocks the transmission of pain signals is satisfying because it provides details of a mechanism that can easily be tested and the details fit with what else we know experimentally about pain and neurons. Such fitting with the rest of the body of knowledge is called consilience. The greater the consilience, the greater the coherence and integration of phenomena and facts. Can the dualist match neuroscience's level of explanatory consilience regarding why Novocaine blocks pain? Not even close. A dualist could say, well, the Novocaine also acts on the soul, but how, even roughly, does that work? What does it do to the soul, especially if Novocaine is physical and the soul is completely not physical? The dualist proposal says nothing at all about mechanism. Consider the contrast with the neuronal explanation, which is all about mechanism. We cannot, of course, be certain that no distinct soul science will ever flower. But as things stand, brain science seems to have the leg up on soul science. This suggests that soul theory is floundering because there is no soul. If you had to place a big money bet, on which hypothesis would you place your money?